first person singular. Views expressed are those of the author. The late Sigrid McLaughlin talked nature with young people in China. During a long solo trip through China, I found myself on a sacred mountain in the Wutai Range. An elderly Chinese asked me in English, would I be open to talk with a visiting class of 16-year-olds who were studying English? They could practice. Sure, why not? Soon, 20 boys and girls faced me with their questions. What did students their age in my country want most? Wealth? Which professions did they favor? What filled their free time? Traveling? Why was I in China? Where had I been? And what did I think of China? I said I loved their countryside, admired their ancient culture, their respect of old age, their eagerness to help me. I added, in the sacred Arme mountains, I saw many posters urging people to protect nature. Yet the creek beds were dry, the magnificent butterflies dead, stuck on a board for sale. I urged them all to protect their precious natural and cultural treasures for themselves and their children. I told them that also in the United States this was a struggle. As we parted, a youngster approached. Thank you so much, what you say. I very sad of Ermishan. I give promise now. I do all for keep well our nature, always promise. This voice was breaking. He hugged me. To this day, five years later, his voice, words, and face are with me. The profound heart-to-heart -heart contact with all of them is unbroken. Secret McLaughlin lives in Santa Cruz. This program was produced by Matilda Rand.